Hey everybody, welcome back to Empire of Sin. As you'll notice, Big Bubba just learned a new talent. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. Uh, we've gone into the Shrapnel Bomb. And as we mentioned before, if you go straight down these trees, they all seem to be related. Using an explosive device as your first action will no longer end your turn. That's super cool. Train to equip and use rifles. Your clothing has been tailored with specialized padding. Explosives deal 20% less damage to you and the chance to be knocked back is reduced. Hmm. We haven't seen a lot of explosives thrown our way, but we've been fighting mostly thug babies, so that's right. Not super surprised. Uh, let's finish up by talking to right Sal away. here. Mm -hmm. Donovan, busy day for you. Yeah, every day is busy. Does Frankie Yale still want to buy these weapons? Whatever you got, you selling? Uh, yes, I'll have my people sort it out. How much are we talking? Fifty thousand. That's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, that's a fair offer. We've got to play it cool. Will you take it? You know what? I think we are going to take it. All of my people sort it out. Leadership skill plus one. 50,000 bucks. Some dynamite. Some notoriety. And I don't know what this... This is like a minus loyalty or something, maybe? What, I, we'll check out to see what that means. $50,000. $50,000, guys. $50,000. You know what we can do with $50,000? We have a sick brothel. <laughs> we have the best brothels in town, honestly. Uh, yeah, we could do whatever we want. You know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to be very responsible here. Uh, let's go to our safe house. We're going to upgrade security. And I'm going to rush that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna max out our security. We're just gonna rush it. It's expensive and probably not efficient, but now our safe house at least is totally, totally laughing. Uh, if we look at our other places here, we could upgrade production here. Uh, this is gonna finish basically when we unpause. Uh, we could even rush production there too. Get more of that going. And then let's go to the Pilsner Brewery. These are going to finish soon. We could upgrade security. Papa's Vino. Let's upgrade security. And let's look at some of our other places as well. Because there's definitely some other buildings we want to be handling. So you can see how we do in like in comparison to everything else. This lustful... The lustful sewer rack is cool. Maybe finance is what, something we should look at here. Where's the thing about customers? Yeah, here. So if we look at this, we can see uh, the average spend. So Black Jack or Black <laughs> Black Room Jacks, the Northside Mob, who owns that, they're making nine thirty-five per customer. It's pretty insane. Uh, if we look at here, our Green and Red Casino is doing pretty good. Word of mouth is not bad, but we could probably upgrade this a little bit. Improves decor, improves draw, word of mouth. Increases draw, but also increases chance of raids and negative events. So you can see, uh, um, ambience improves our income by 15%. Upkeep, upkeep increases a bit. This improves our draw. This improves our income. Let's do income. And let's do security. Actually, let's just go to level two at all of these. And then, I don't want to dump all of this money. Competing. Try increasing your draw to pull customers away from rival rackets. Oh, cool. So customers, you want them to be full, I guess. That's best case scenario. Competing at the Lustful Sewer Rat. Let's increase our ambiance. And our word of mouth. And our deflection. And our security. Why not? And then... Uh, I think we're good to go right now. I want this one to finish. So Papa's Vino is going to finish in one day. Let's get that going. Message from one of your guards. We delivered them guns to Yale, boss. Happy days. Sick. I'm on it. There. Okay. So alcohol quality at Papa Vino's is upgraded. We're going to get this going now to allow production of premium. We're going to do deflection here as well. I'm not going to rush these, I don't think. I think that's all good. 
Pilsner is all upgrading. That's good. I don't think we're maxed. Well, we are actually maxed out on storage because of this swill. Let's do that. I don't know if there's a way to, like, liquidate our, uh, our current storage. Maybe I could sell swill to another person. Let me check this. You want to trade? Let's do... How do I... I guess... It... I hope this is ours. Let's trade swill. And you can disguise it? Oh, <laughs> cool. You can disguise it as something higher quality. I don't want to piss him off, so I'm not going to disguise it. I'm going to give you 100. And then I need you... Ah, uh, here we go. Give me, like... Can you give me everything? I doubt it. Okay. Let's see how this works. This is very civilization-ish. Okay, we're getting there. Does he have anything else? He doesn't have a whole lot. I feel bad, because we're going to absolutely decimate this guy. This stuff is cheap, so let's just see what we can get for it. Getting there. I wish there... Maybe there's, like, a opportunity to have a balance button. You know? Uh, I don't see anything down here, but, like, just tell me what you would do. There. So now we've gotten some of that extra swill off our hands. Uh, which is nice to see. We still need it because we're still selling, but we're at max capacity. So we might as well just get something out of it. Okay. Right guys, away. Guys, we're, uh, we're going big time here. We're going to go down to the Los Hios... Uh, safe house. What if we just do travel to? Oh, it's instant. That's kind of nice. Oh, I can't just enter. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, well, Irish car bomb underway. Let's go here. We're going to declare war. I'm going to invite this guy. I don't know. If, maybe the X means I can't click it off. I can't, like, change it. Maybe it's just he won't do it because of that whole dismissive thing. I'm not sure, but I'm going to war. Going to war with Los Hios will cause them to target your safe house, rackets, guards, and crew. You sure you want to declare war? Uh, yes, I do. You've made a terrible mistake. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Who's this? What? Kill this piece of Combat shit. starting. They're attacking us. You have a 68% chance of winning. Oh. There you have three guards attacking. You have four defending. So where is this? This oh okay. this one here. Well, I'm not concerned about this. Not with our team. Okay, where's this guy at? So this guy's attacking next. We want to kill him. With the whack with the whack attack. Yep, cool. Uh it doesn't matter what angle we do it from. Oh come here theory. to me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really surprised that our rating is decreasing. Very surprised. 81 over there. Let's actually swap weapons. Now, notice these guys are a little tankier than the thugs that we've been facing. I'm only going to kill this guy. Well, actually, that's not true. He's 72. We can kill this guy with base damage. That's sick. Absolutely sick. Uh... Sucker Punch, 75% chance to knock out, 50% chance to hit. Uh, our sniper rifle is way too close. Let's see. How far back would I have to get? 75 from back there? And our base damage. Ooh, yeah, okay. Means I'm going to leave us in the open. Oh, but I can't. Uh, unless I come back and overwatch. Let's see. What's my other weapon? He's lower health. He's only at 44. Oh, this ain't... This is not gonna cut it. This is not gonna cut it. Let's get in for a melee attack, then. Understood. See if we can maybe steal something. Nope. Not today. <gasps> we could have come back and maybe overwatched, but I wasn't sure if they would run like this, so... 49. We can just Bye. come down here. Instead of using the targeting. Look at 
Looks like we have a thug wanting to fight here as well. <laughs> From freaking downtown. This lonely thug. What's he what's his plan? I don't think he's got one. On it. Frankie, let's uh overwatch this guy. Claudio, let's switch back to your sniper rifle. Okay. We'll watch the other side of this car. And then Sarah, let's just move up. Entendido. Kill. Okay, that's fine. I'm on it. Big bubs. He's there for the intimidation factor, at least. Not a problem. Claudio. You got it, boss. Let's come over here. We'll do an overwatch. What weapon does this guy have? He's got a shotgun, so he's going to want to come in closer. You would think, anyway. Of course. See ya. Uh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm fucking Absolutely talking about. Absolutely destroyed. Hey, a baseball bat. Okay, I'm on let's it. Pause this up for a second here. Um, somebody doesn't have a melee weapon. So let's give you one. Everybody should have a melee weapon. Now, I want to take a look at your sniper rifle. 86 to 88. 154 to 158. M1917 Enfield. 86 to 88. Yeah, it's definitely the best. Okay. Your guns, handguns, melee weapons, submachine guns, machine guns. We only have seen, I think, submachine guns. I don't have an actual machine gun yet. Uh, we could look to see if he sells any. No, not really. He gets new stock in a day, though. It'll be the, well, I don't, maybe not the first time, but anyway, let's go of in course. here. And, uh, this is going to be, hopefully, can do. hopefully we can pull this off. I hope this isn't biting off way more than we can chew. We got to prioritize that boss. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh my God. That's a huge area. Okay. Good news is, looks like Salazar Reina is way in the back. Dominant Court. Those heels, guards. One of the things I guess we could do is try and find out. So when we go into our black book, you can see who's hired by other people. And there is an option to try and get your uh, allies to kill someone off. And maybe that's a, an interesting idea. Because any of those named people in the black books are going to be way more powerful, obviously, than these little thugs, right? So... Yeah. Now, hold up a second here. We... What is this little circle? Not sure. Man, we got... We're going to have problems here. Pretty sure. This is going to be tough. Right away! They all have a minimum of... Well, 54 here. Let's go... And they have some armor, you can see. All right. Is that armor or is that action points? I think it's armor. There's somebody we can kill. Hopefully this one, but like definitely this one at 54. What did he do? He just, he's waiting, he's delaying his turn. Hey, we've got overwatches happening. Holy smokes. That's like a pretty big pin. Now I wonder, what's my range? Oh, my range is insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, hmm, do I wanna just launch this? I guess. Should cancel the overwatch? Assholes. <laughs> okay. Understood. 
problem is is like when we get into these scenarios you don't get to we're just walking in and we're exposed in the back here kill him okay 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 how are we gonna deal with this definitely want to take full cover here i'm worried about explosives on our I'm on it. from their side because we're all clumped up this is our best chance to hit anything oh that was so close here we go shrapnel bomb now this shrapnel bomb is not taking from anything i believe this is just one of his skills bleed slow and knock back and it's a huge oh my god that's amazing dude it does end the turn so let's get in here how many ap it's two ap so we can't move but i think it's worth i think it's worth bleed slow and knock back That's insanely powerful. Oh. Oh. Big Bubba, welcome to the squad. Plus, they're going to take this bleed damage now. I'm going to wait for Rainia before we actually do the uh, Unleash Fury, I think. Doesn't seem like he even wants to participate. Which makes sense. He's like, typical mob boss. Scared. This guy's further back. These guys are stacked on top of each other. This person's going to act next, but we can't kill them straight up. Dominant Quartz way over here. Let's take out one of these, hopefully. Got him. I actually should have probably moved a bit so we can make some space for our guys here. Oh, a nice little uh, doctor situation going on here. Maybe not. It might not be a doctor, but uh, had the first aid kit. It's a big heal, actually. Increase movement by five and initiative by 30 for two rounds. This doesn't really help us. Um, I think we just fire from back here. I think we go for this one, and the other ones are close enough to take this one out, I hope. Oh, nice shot, Claudio. Oh, my God. God. All right. <laughs> Slaughtered. Okay, Odell. 54. So let's do, um, let's do a mark on this guard. I'll handle the riffraff. I could probably just slide down here for the flank, but... This way, if we miss, we don't kill him, then we'll have the mark. Actually, I wonder if it ends at the end of the round. Or if it goes through the whole cycle until it's our turn again. I guess we'll see if we don't kill him. Happy to say that we've killed him. So this is a five-turn cooldown on Shrapnel Bomb, but damn, did we make good use of that. Not a problem. I wonder if this guy's going to start to run in now. Figuring, like, well, it's now or never. My Overwatch isn't going to do anything. Let's fire our shots off here. I hit two of them. Very lucky, Big Bubba there. Okay. So, we got to be watching from here. So, there's no openings this side. He's going to come through this door eventually. I'm going to start right to... Away spread a little bit awesome awesome i wonder if he's got maybe like i wonder if he's got some type of coward trait or i don't know if this is just a bad ai thing which is also possible i guess man part of me really wants to just overwatch this door but i'm not sure he's going to come through here just yet 143 All right. crit. Okay, he went to cover which is I mean the right call for him I'm gonna move Odell up into full of course
39 only. Overwatch is kind of useless. We could take two 39s with the pistol. He actually hit that. I'm impressed, big bubs. Damn it. All right, and now, moving a right bit away. closer. We probably want to take this. <laughs> God, our aim is so insane. He's bleeding out. Okay, so let's start moving in hot here. Okay, going. I can't believe he didn't even come to fight at all. He probably will when he sees us. Vale. I wonder if there's a way to, like, convert these guys instead of killing them. And Big Bubba's movement is rough. Four. Oh, that's so not amazing. But at least ah. he's got an arm like a Major League Baseball pitcher. He could toss things across the room. Okay, this puts me in visual of... Rainia, which doesn't seem that appealing because I don't know what his special ability is. It. And as we've seen, these special abilities are very powerful. I'll do it. He's moving in now. He's moving. That's something. That's something. Uh, let's duck in. Wait, does he have a flank position over here? No, this is all closed. I'm going to yep, duck in over I'm here with it. Claudio. Stay out of vision as much as possible. I'll go... Hmm. You know what? Let's take here. Entendido. So we're not in vision. And then Big Baba, <laughs> go as far as I can. I should maybe give him those uh, smelling salts or whatever we have. Man, do I want to just take this shot? <laughs> kind of? But I act, our our unleashed fear would be our best bet to kill him in one go. It would absolutely be our best bet to kill him in one go. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go uh, right away. Full cover. We still take the shot, hoping that the full cover mitigates whatever his special is. Hopefully, it's a range thing. Vamos. Oh, it's melee. Okay, what's he doing? Oh my god. He whiffed it! The ghost! The ghost strikes again! <laughs> okay, we pretty much have this guy deaded at this point. Um, switch weapons here. Let's go again. Sarah. Of course. Should be able to see him from here. Beautiful. Big bubs. I'm on it. Should be able to see him from here. My God, Big Bubs takes him out, and we get to do an execution on him. Oh my, this is awesome. Okay, Let's make sure we target the right guy. Get get away with it, Salazar. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. fucking gobshite! Okay. Get back in the ground, Raven. <laughs> wow, into the sunset. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking Silencer. talking about. Melee club. Twenty-five percent chance to inflict slow bleed. Fifty percent chance to crit. I think I just sell that. It's worth so much. Got a bunch of cash. We take over the safe house. Uh, you already have a safe house in this neighborhood. Okay. You need a made gangster to build a safe house in another neighborhood. So I think you, you can only have one. So what do we turn this into? What would be the biggest insult? 
I mean, I respect sex workers, but in this time, I don't think they were highly respected. And if you wanted to really piss this guy off, you turn his old place into a brothel. <laughs> Los Hios Brothel. Maybe we just leave it as that name, too. I could see that. Why can't we do a hotel? Oh, because you can only have one. Gotcha. And also double neighborhood combination bonuses. Uh, I can't look at this, eh? Let's do it. It's a brothel now. Los Kios Hellhole. Ah, this on, is more foul kind of place. You killed the ground Salazar Rania, the boss of the Los Hios de la Llorona. Their entire empire is now yours. I mean, this is clearly the most efficient way to take over uh, neighborhoods or any buildings, really. But I imagine as we keep going, like, that was our first guy. And you could see their empire is not that big. But as we keep expanding, other AIs are going to be expanding and consuming each other as well, I think. So they should get bigger, badder, and more powerful. The war is over. That'll teach them. The rating with the north side mob is decreased. Well, they should be scared. Let's be honest. Notoriety bonus. Persuasion has now dropped at 204. I'm guessing persuasion drops as your notoriety goes up because it's like people are just not going to trust you, right? They're like, dude, you're, everyone knows who you are. We know what you're doing. Money baller. Okay. Right Good away. Idea. I want to look at I'm our stuck. empire. Okay. Oh, there's so much green here. There is so much green here. Wow. That is super cool. Okay. So what should we do next, I wonder? Uh I wonder if I should talk to him. I don't I don't really know the best way to handle this. There's friction there. Oh, honor was that thing that dropped before that we saw. Hmm. Yeah, see? Dominant court dead. Don't have enough notoriety for this gangster. That's fine. We can see the other ones here are hired by somebody we don't know. Um, is it possible to see who our Irish friend has? Maybe he doesn't have anybody. That's possible as well. Hmm. Keep an eye on the police. Like, we're just crushing. We're absolutely dominating right now. Uh, here's what we should do. Now we should go into our other places that we took over. And we need to rename them. So... Enterprise Mercantile Brewery. I, maybe I have to do it from here. Pullman's Betting Hall. Info... How do I rename this? I could sell these things. Close it, look inside, enter info. Can you only rename them when you take them over, like, manually? That could very well be the case. This place can make rack. We can do... Top shelf here, still at rack, shipping storage, this is our new place. I, If you guys know a way to rename these, let me know. I'm going to upgrade deflection and security in these places. Oh, this is going to get so costly. Papa's Vino, we're good there. We'll do quality, reflection, security. So at least we got four on the go now. 
do production here too. Yeah, this is cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, so near north side, this has a whole other... Actually, hold on a second. I wonder if he had places. Hey, it was near north side? Oh my god. I think he had a place over here. <laughs> so now I just have like these random... I have these random places. I don't know how I'm going to be able to protect these places. Other than like having some security there. If people attack us, that's not going to be cool. But yeah, he must have expanded out there for some reason. Seems very questionable. Maybe at this point, do I just say screw our Irish friend? Because he's not providing me any value whatsoever. And like, if I just take over all of South Loop, then what's going to happen? Nobody's, nobody can stop us. Somebody comes in here, they just die. I think. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good start. So, uh, maybe the next, maybe when we come back, we'll just go and fight him. He's going to be weaker than Los Hios, I think. I don't see that he's got anybody hired. Um. Hey, how you doing? I think Bruno Baldini would actually be a nice one to pick up if we can. He doesn't... Hmm. He doesn't like this guy, though. So I don't think he actually will work with us. Ugh. But having this little love relationship could be kind of nice, too. But he takes a lot of money. And he takes 1200 bucks right now. Yeah, we can't, we can't afford that. I think we just keep working, doing what we're doing. Um, upgrading the quality of all of our places as much as possible. Uh, if we look at something like our brothels... What can we do with that? Sort by racket type here. Uh, let's see. So brothels. Sharky's Palace is an example. I guess we could just... Upgrade these things. More money. More draw. And if we look at our total empire... Let's see here. So racket synergies. Full house. Three of a kind. Uh, straights, five of a kind, two pairs. I don't know. Active hotel in this area. Hotel adds customers to the neighborhood and add a bonus to synergies. You can't have a hotel without an active synergy. It doesn't show that it's checked off, even though we do have the house of the brass sun over here. Oh, here. It's two of a pair, green and red. Uh, three brothels, two pairs, so two of each. Full house, so one of everything, maybe? I don't know if placement matters. <laughs> Look at the reviews. Holy crap. I don't know if placement matters, but, uh, yeah. I'm just kind of trying to figure this out as much as I can as we go. And I think it's working okay. We're winning. We're definitely winning. Look in here. Average spend, Pullman's betting hall. That's all us. Green and red casino. That's us. Uh, that's huge money that we got coming in here. Huge money. Uh, let's look at our people here for a second. Where is our leader? I'm trying to look for the always hard to find this. Is it in Black Book? Yeah, there we go. So, underboss is at 500. What's a lieutenant? You must have a safe house in the neighborhood to assign a lieutenant. Lieutenants gain 80 loyalty when promoted. They govern a specific neighborhood. They also positively affect the morale of other gangsters in their neighborhood. You need to choose who to assign this position. Lieutenants cannot become moles. So, I'm thinking that... Uh, I'm thinking that that's how these things maybe work. When equipped to safe house. Unless it's just a matter of putting him in there. What is it? Let's see, where is my safe house? 
Move to, enter, info. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the lieutenant... I think that feels more like this is what he would do. You know? Uh, let's look at Sarah. What does she have? Anything like that? No. See, he's the first one that actually has stuff where it's boosting our actual production. So we're producing plus 21 right now. If we look at Big Bubba, the way I see this is that that's casino income. Neighborhood brewery production up 10% and neighborhood casino income up 10%. So casino 521 and brewery 21. I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Let's give him the... Wait, hold on. Lieutenant. How do I give him the lieutenant role? I can't even. Huh. So I'm not sure how to make somebody a lieutenant. Must have a safe house in the neighborhood to assign. Oh, you know what? I bet you this is... Uh, because we're in the neighborhood, we're the person that's, like, uh, responsible for the safe house. I wonder if this is other neighborhoods. You assign lieutenants to those, maybe? Lieutenants cannot become moles. Oh, yeah. This is sick. Okay, anyway. We'll figure it out as we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having a good time. And uh, we'll probably take out Dino Banyan next. Because why wouldn't we? See you soon. Bye for now.